Hey, what's up guys? If you saw the last couple of videos, you've seen that I've been doing some uh, demo videos um, trying out that Microtech Select Fire. And today someone reminded me that I was going to uh, compare it to something cheaper. Uh, now originally I was talking about comparing it to something, you know, dirt cheap, like some kind of Chinese knife. But honestly I know it would break and it wouldn't be helpful to anyone. So I am going to replicate these tests again, but with a uh, more affordable blade such as this Kershaw Needs Work. All right, very common, more affordable blade. It's not necessarily cheap, it's not expensive, it's just something that a common person might pick up. All right, so same exact tests. The first one here I'm gonna do is, uh, you know, cutting some of this phone book paper, see how that works out. Now this does not have a factory edge on it. This was sharpened and chopped. Okay, so it's about as good as it's gonna get. Here. Let's see what we got. Quick little sheet. See if we can get some nice clean slices through here. You can see, nice clean slice. Phone book paper. So again, not a three hundred dollar knife, performing just well, just fine. Okay, so you can take any blade, even a you know lower quality steel, and get the same type of uh, you know performance out of it. I can tell you just by physics that it won't last as long, that sharp edge, but as you see right now, it's working just fine. <laughs> if I don't cut my own thumb, it'd be nice if I paid attention. That was close. Let's see. Cut a little flap there, but it's not bleeding. Yeah, that's stupid. All right, so, yes, nice and sharp. Close call. I actually did cut a little piece off my thumb, but it's that dead skin, it's on the tip of your finger, so that was lucky. Anyway, uh, that's it. It will obviously, you know, sharpened and strop properly. It will cleanly slice through phone book paper, so we'll move on to the uh, next test here.